Hi, I'm Steve Kroll. I'm Joe Martinez. And we're with Granular. We just wanted to record a short video sharing our takeaways of Google's Partner Summit uh, in New York City uh, in September uh, 2017 and just wanted to share some thoughts and some takeaways. So uh, the Partner Summit was a one-day event with the first part of the day. It was uh, in a big, it was in a big room. It was focused on big picture where Google is really putting their attention, where they think that the, the the partner agency should be looking at as far as thinking about how to partner with Google, how to help their clients with the second part of the afternoon was focused on more specific break breakout sessions. Mm -hmm. uh, we're just going to focus most of this, I think, on the overall themes and takeaways. So uh, some interesting facts, um, according to Google, there were over 63 countries that were represented in the room at the Google Partner Summit, over a thousand individuals that were in attendance. And there was actually the, uh, a question about who was the, the furthest person that traveled to the summit. It was someone who traveled 11,610 miles from Perth, Australia. So those are a fun little facts. So um, the, the main, I guess, where we'll spend the bulk of this video is talking about a, a keynote uh, address that was given by Mary Ellen Cole, the president of Global Marketing Solutions for Google. And she really talked about changing the digital experience. You know, what were some of the takeaways and thoughts you had from that, Joe? Yeah, that's... A lot of what I took away, uh, not only from her presentation, but kind of she set the tone uh, for what later on the presentations were pretty much more in depth of what she was talking about. Uh, but you see the big shift uh, that we see too is, it's, it's already kind of been in the writing a little bit with Google and AdWords is the focus on audiences. Uh, not really focusing on who the user is, but focusing on you know, what that user is doing in that moment when they need something, why they need something, and they're creating a bunch of different audiences that we can't talk about. <laughs> we had the NDA on that one, but that it's coming in the mix that we're gonna have a lot of different, or more options that we can target these users by specific audiences, and kind of you see another step back away from the keywords, which is a growing trend with AdWords right now. Yeah, no, that was a big takeaway. I. I have a couple quotes here. Mary talked about we have moved from the age of information to assistance. They really hit home yep. on that a lot. That was a theme throughout the event, uh, talking about you know being relentless about removing friction. And uh, there was this real big point about users. And they, uh, Mary mentioned that users are one informed, two demanding, and three impatient. And the experience from uh, search or any of Google's platforms to the, the website or the web experience for uh, our clients, for advertisers, needs to um, really accommodate this, this new reality that users are informed, they're demanding, they're impatient, um, that people have even moved from uh, typing near me in their search results, but they expect results that are near them when they're typing mm -hmm. uh, in Google. So that was pretty interesting. Yeah. It's as, you know, as technology advances too, it's kind of, what Google brought up brought up as well is that we you know we have to meet you know or change our marketing strategies consistently based on how the user is searching what they want and what do they expect based on all the new devices that are coming out um, so it's interesting to see how AdWords is actually putting that into their marketing strategies and new features that they are going to release in the future yeah uh, that was crazy um, you know it's, it's funny there's the the rest of that morning was focused on Google's ad innovations and the product roadmap, and the, that was an NDA specific session, so we can't go into specifics and specific yeah. targeting. But maybe we can just talk about some of the themes, the areas where Google is following through based on that uh, the keynote talk that Mary gave about what uh, the focus is going mm -hmm. to be, and you know how the on the product side for the agencies like Granular for advertisers, they're gonna arm us with the tools to uh, accommodate for this new reality. Yeah, the party that kind of Mary kicked off with and there was a breakout session later on in the afternoon uh, specifically focusing on YouTube. Uh, YouTube is a huge push not only for Google but Google's making a huge push from it because that's where users are going. Uh, not only is it the second largest search engine in the world after Google, um, it's just the amount of content users upload 
on a daily basis to YouTube is incredible. So, the, and we've also were told that the prices that we typically see CPCs go up in search and even on social and other formats, they're not going up in YouTube because users are uploading like hundreds of hours of new content every single minute on YouTube. So the ad inventory and the amount of space where we could advertise on YouTube, it, it's going to be nearly impossible for advertisers to catch up with the amount of inventory that there is in the channel. So because of that, and we know there's a growing uh, user base there, and it's a great way to kind of get in front of those users where they are at that moment, especially as mobile devices increase. Um, there's going to be a lot of new YouTube features coming out, uh, released and announced by the end of the year, which we should all look forward to. Um, but it's definitely, you know, hitting home and hopefully you're on YouTube already. But if not, it's pretty much a clear indication of you need to be there or someone else is going to be there and start taking your audience away. Yeah, now that YouTube, that, um, I'm not, I'm going to leave out the specific advertiser that was mentioned, but um, there was a, a very popular company in the mattress delivered to your doorstep space that uh, was given as an example where they had broad match, they had campaigns where they're bidding on broad match, top of the funnel keywords and search, and they would comb through the search term reports on that regularly. That's part of a practice, best practice. And then they figure out based off of what engagement metrics were interesting to them, they didn't disclose what those were, uh, to actually then peel those out and bid on those uh, target videos, um, target search uh, in YouTube. Mm -hmm. So that way they can get those users. And uh, the stat that was given that this had a direct impact on brand brand search and brand lift, that there was a 3x lift in brand searches yep. that happened right after this campaign. Uh, obviously don't know the specific period or like I mentioned, even as I was thinking about it, were they targeting videos? Were they just targeting specific searches with those um, queries? But regardless, it was really touted and it was pretty interesting in terms yeah. of how to do branding rather than you're buying a billboard, you're buying a radio ad. How can you take advantage of Google's uh, YouTube platform? Yep, and it's, I mean, we've seen the same thing here at Granular too with video campaigns that we're running. You run, you know, videos out there because if people don't know you exist, if they don't know your products exist, they're not gonna search for it. And instead of doing display, we can get something that's more engaging, which is video, especially on mobile. And majority of YouTube videos are watched on phones. They're not watched on desktop. Um, and we've seen the same thing. You know, the more we show videos, we see our clients' uh, brand names, you know, the trending. We see the lift itself. It's, it happens all the time. Um, and that might shift kind of to another topic that uh, they talked about, which is important and actually closed out the event, was the attribution. You know. If, you know how do we see the efforts of good marketing strategy improving the worth of it um, and that's a huge factor that Google is really concentrating on uh, their attribution tool which is already announced it will come out in 2018 um, and they're really focusing on that cross device user making sure that we're figuring out where that user goes in the entire journey no matter what device that they're on um, and it did kind of tie into YouTube a lot too because Yes, you know, we can have some attribution models with YouTube. We don't get the full picture, but uh, Google's gonna be working on that for sure, that we can get more information uh, on that user journey from our initial marketing efforts. Yeah, um, so if, if you have a rep, if you're an advertiser, um, I would say talk to Google about, or maybe you know about some of the uh, new targeting options that Joe is alluding to that have to do with audiences that have to do with where users at based off of their intent um, if you want to know more specifics on that if you're a granular client we can tell you more about that but um, if you're an advertiser you have a rep directly you can talk to them just very excited uh, to see that information rolled out and um, it's at the end of the day it's how Google understands uh, that users aren't just doing one search, clicking on one ad, going to a site and then converting, that when you look at the prevalence of mobile phones, multi-screens multi, multi -screens that you're using, multi-devices you're using at work, at home, um, that that is playing a factor as far as if they see an ad on those platforms versus not. And Google's just trying to provide tools to advertisers and agencies um, and granular to help tell that story mm -hmm. using machine learning, using, um, uh, algorithms that's something that they really hit home on a lot. Yeah.
Yeah, because the, the focus shouldn't be siloed channels. You know, it should, the focus should be, especially if you're using paid, is how is paid helping your overall marketing efforts? And that's what Google's trying to solve. Um, it's, you know, it's going to be a long ways to go, but they're making bigger steps. You know, because if, if you're using paid to build that awareness and they convert through other channels, who cares? You know, you're still helping that user get to the final point. Um, and we'll be able to have more information to prove that and actually to show the value of how your campaigns are working and what they're actually doing to see if you're actually getting uh, the proper return on your investment. Yeah. So I'm trying to think here what else we can even talk about. Uh, just like I mentioned, there's just so much that was NDA specific, a lot of specifics on uh, the product roadmap with their, their video ad products, uh, shopping, measurement. Yeah. I just like that the overall tone of the event, um, yes, while they talked about features, I got the impression that they were really focusing on improving your marketing strategy. We didn't really talk about it because it's not too new. Google's been talking about mobile experience for a while, but they had a whole session on that and why it's extremely important. Um, and there was a lot of just sessions that were really focusing on improving the user experience. They weren't necessarily teaching us ad tactics or, you know, how to get people to spend more, you know, that that's actually was not the tone of the, of the partner event at all. Um, and then I think it was extremely important that, you know, we look at PBC not as, PBC isn't a marketing strategy, it's we use it as a tool to implement a marketing mm. strategy. So it's really focusing on what is your strategy and how can you use Google's tools to help you implement it. And I think that's really important to always keep in mind. Yeah, that's a really good point. Um, yeah, I would say that the, the, after lunch, the second half of the afternoon, was, they had three different rooms you could break out into, like tracks. One was growth oriented, and that was more focused on hiring and retention of talent mm -hmm. um, the, and leadership. The second was on more um, how to grow your agency, acquire new business, sales. And the third was, um, what did they call it? Solutions, I think was maybe yeah. what they yeah. called it. And that was more specific to tactics, implementation. And so I thought that was a pretty good format that they had the three different rooms because you had a, a good mix of people who were agency owners, practitioners, people who wore multiple hats and they can self-select and say, I wanna go on the track that is more specific towards solutions or I wanna go on a track that's specific to new, new business acquisition or a track that's specific to um, growth and hiring and it was just two of us there so we had two of the rooms covered but there was a third room we couldn't quite get to but wow. uh, I thought those were, were great they were smaller sizes there was active audience participation uh, it seemed that was a, a very popular format for the event um, we had to catch a, a, a flight very short shortly after so we couldn't stick around all the way to the end but um, trying to think is there anything else that we're missing that we should touch on no um, just a Keep your eyes open. News is going to be coming soon on the official AdWords blog. We're going to try to keep up on it as soon as possible and try to share that information as soon as we get it. Uh, but we're excited to see where they're going and especially looking forward to 2018 for that attribution tool. Cool. So uh, I think we'll close this out. Again, this is Steve Kroll. And Joe Martinez. And so long from Granular. Uh, thank you.